Hello and welcome to episode one of the Liverpool Rebuild. I thought they could do with a refresh with the team playing so poorly this season. So I thought it was worth having a go at this. Uh, you can see our budget's 188 million, which is over. And the first player we're going to be looking at it getting through the door will be Jude Bellingham. 19 years old. Got lots of potential. Could definitely fit in the Liverpool <coughs> first eleven. Uh, but obviously Dortmund are not looking to sell him. That's cash deal only. They want Diaz in return. So <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna be looking at allowing that to happen. Uh, and I think 40 million or so. Plus Diaz is a fair, fair deal, and we we we'll see if it's accepted. Uh, so let's hope this gets done. And they're happy to do that deal. That's a case of getting the contract details done for Bellingham. So we're going to negotiate now, try and get him on a long term deal. He's only 19, so definitely going to be a crucial part of the team. Uh, and if he's fit, he'll be in every single week. Five-year deal's got to be good. And if we can get him on the door, that's a brilliant signing for Liverpool. That's what he wants. We're going to give him what he wants. We want to get him through the door. And that's our first deal done. So... 40 million plus a player, five year deal, bang. He's definitely getting to the first 11 at the start of the season. And uh, we'll be looking at bringing other players through the door as well as what we've just done. So, we'll also be looking at getting rid of players. Uh, I'm going to go clear out, really. I think this is a big rebuild project for Liverpool. So Diaz, 40 million. Price rating, A. Good business for the club. Probably get 12, 13 years for him. 86 rating. Now looking at getting Declan Rice through the door. And this could be a good signing as well. We're looking at bringing a new midfield to the first 11 of Liverpool. So he got a value of 45. 50 ish, it's got to be a fair deal. You see, Moise takes a deal. Again, probably get 10 years of this player in the team. So they have 50.6 million with 10% quite happy to take that uh, so that's a player that we've got through the door as well although we still got to negotiate contract details it's got to be a long-term deal as well five years it's got to be a five-year deal uh, and that would be a good signing for Liverpool uh, he would link it well with Bellingham Fabinho, Henderson is on the transfer list at the moment, along with Keita, Chamberlain, Thiago, Matip, um, Fabinho, and we're just looking at having a good clear out. Gomez is another one, and we can get some players through the door, fresh blood, that'll make a difference to our season. Ejectors this season will be to win the league in the Champions League bottom board. So I think we need a good good few players through, strong players. And definitely the midfield needs strengthening. And that's what we'll be looking at doing in the next week or two. So Declan Morris is through. So £90 million pound in cash spent on Royce and Bellingham is decent money I'd say. Obviously, we've lost Diaz, but to get two English 
internationals through the door, it's a good deal, good deal to, you know, he's only going to improve us. So I'm definitely happy with that. As you can see, just put a bid in for Saka. We got him through the door. He's another big signing for us. Got three English players through the door. In the space of a week. Money's being spent. And we need to recoup some. 65 million for Saka. Good deal. I'd say, yeah. So 150 million pounds spent on three English players. All three of them are going to go in the front. First 11, you know. Uh, as you can see, Matip's gone. Couldn't help but think 29.8 million is a good deal. tiago has gone out as well. He didn't look very happy, but who cares? He's been replaced by young blood. And 54.6 million is a good deal for us. First game of the season and friendly. Some highlights to go through. We had some offers for Elliot in the pre-season. I've declined those. I think he could be a useful part of the squad that we're building. Memphis to pay. Good finish. 1-0. Here's Elliot. Great hit from Elliot. I like Elliot. Definitely going to be one for the future. Jota come on in the second half. For Nunes. And a good goal, good finish. Nunes didn't do a lot. Although I always do like Gakpo. I think he's quick. He's lengthy. Got a great shot on him. That was a good finish. Robertson comes in for a shot here as well. Great effort from Andy Robertson just over the bar. And we finish that match T1 as a winner. Just put in another bid. As you can see, Karaman Adiami, sorry to say. Yeah. Uh, just over the asking price. I think this guy is going to be good. I had him scouted. He's got a huge amount of acceleration and pace. Uh, and at 20 years old, they wanted Elliot plus 1.6 million. And I counter offered it. I offered him a bit more money. I just certainly didn't want Elliot going in that deal. So we put a bit more in. And thankfully they've accepted it. You know, that's a that's a good deal for us. We tried to offer a five year deal for this guy. Uh, in the end, I think we put in a three year deal. But this guy is going to be low overall seventy five. He's going to be one for now and for the future. And. It, 11 or 12 million pounds I'd say that was a pretty good bargain for us could be a lot of money to be made out of this guy if he decides to move on from us and uh, he certainly won't be going on the bench if he's fit I will start him because I just think with pace up front with him and Saka on one side Salah on the other then you've got Bellingham and Royce in the middle along with Fabinho and you've got Trent and Robertson at the back. We've got a lot of pace in that team again. And a lot of young young kids coming through. Definitely going to be one to play for now and for the future. And again, I'd say that was a good signing for the club. That's four decent signings that we spent money on. Uh, 12.6 million. In this day, it's good. This highlights of the last friendly today. Salah comes in. That's a great finish. 1-0. Yeah. 
It wasn't long before they got an equaliser. I don't know what Allison was doing there, but place was all over the place in defence. But this guy looks good. That's his first goal of the season for the club. Some crunching tackles coming in as well. Unlucky there, that was a great effort. Declan Royce comes in with a shot here. It's a great effort. Gets his first club goal today for Liverpool. Salah gets a yellow card for that one. And he well deserved a yellow card there, I think. What an effort there. Allison came in to make the save. And what a ball this is from Bellingham for his first touch. Declan Morris comes in. But he scores. Definitely something that Henderson wouldn't have done. Canate is disgusting there. And last couple chances of the match. Uh, Saka on his debut scores. So that's three players on their debut school goals today. Declan Royce comes out. Great finish. I hope you like the video. Look out for the next episode. See how Liverpool do. Hundred million pounds to spare, and we'll see if we can spend it all in the transfer window and get rid of some dead wood.